he would like a ice cold glass of water. Maybe like a cup of tea with some herbs in it or something. Maybe. So it looks like we're uh, golden plating up the place now. We need to gather up four of those. And I have to say, like, the art in this game is extremely well done for the setting. I love it. Hi there! That's pretty scary. I hope he's not a light sleeper. Oh, is he actually, uh... <laughs> maybe he's from League of Legends? Yeah, maybe. Once we unlock him, we can put on his different outfits, his different dresses, right? That pestle fragment is missing! So, let's see here. Oh, what's going on here? I could make use of the flame. So I need water. I think there is water outside. Over here. That is one fancy looking goblet. Alright, he's thirsty. We should quench his thirst. I don't know if we can use this here, though. You have a feeling we're going to wake up the guy? Spoiler alert! <laughs> oh, thank you, my dear. A few more days and I would have died of thirst. Now, listen. To activate the portal again, and thus open yourself a way home, we'll need a special crystal. A pink quartz. Not far from this complex, you find a crypt for the wizards of an ancient tribe. Only they kept the crystal you need. Find it and return to me. Then I'll tell you what you must do next. Thanks for the help. I'll be back soon. One more thing. The passage to the tribe's settlement is protected by a special field. You didn't notice it. Deactivate it first. You'll need a key to do that. Here, take it. Why is he piecemealing out the instructions? Just give it to me all the way from A to Z. I don't want to hear the bit by bit. <laughs> Anyways, we have this pedestal part. I think that's the bad guy from Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> sure. We are totally going to get a proton pack. Oh, that looks familiar. I believe that's going to go right here. This is not a trick. We are totally doing what needs to be done. Um, oh, it's just a hidden object. Okay. I bet something important is hidden beyond this field, but how can I turn it off? Good question. Maybe with a little hidden object, it, that'll do it. So I believe this is going to be somewhat interactive here. Because once we've got it, then we're going to have to use it. Very nice. Very nice. I think that key is going to go there. A mechanism of blocks, but how do I activate it? Good question. Hmm. Looks like we need to put a, ge a gear here. Part of the tongs is missing. The mechanism is missing a handle. I can't pull it out with my hand. What can I do? Ah, there's the other half of the tongs. So maybe that'll help me with this. Magically gets assembled. Pull that out of its mouth. That is now a block, which I believe is going to go here. And, oh, yeah, maybe right here. Geared up. Yeah, exactly. And it's a slider puzzle. So, wait. Kind of easy slider puzzle. Which I'm okay with. A snake and a handle. Now we can handle this over here, the gears. We have pulled up something in a cage. 
So this is gonna go here now. We've got a snake and a panther. Ah, remember I was asking you about that animal and we said it was a lady lion. It is a panther. Panther and a snake. Okay, that sound effect was so good. It sounded like sci-fi-ish. Loved it. And now we get to put it over here. Carolyn, welcome. Good to see you again. Yeah, that's right. I got some skills. You got it. So this one, we don't get to go anywhere, but this one we do. Yay. Uh, who's this guy? Man, look how gorgeous this jungle looks. Hear the birds and the insects. Look at them all. Well, I guess we have to talk to the dude. This is the crypt of the great tribe of wizards. What brings you here? I came to find the pink quartz. Are you a ghost? I am the ghost of the high wizard. One day, we were struck by some strange ailment. And within just a few days, Every member of the tribe perished. Everyone. I was no exception. But my spirit remained bound within these solitary places. Is there a special ritual which could help you return to your people? Indeed there is. Just like the bodies of all the resting High Wizards, mine also needs to be buried in a special way. Help me. In return, you will learn the secret of retrieving the pink quartz. Let's go to the ritual temple. But you need to cross the precipice somehow. We have to help the wizard's ghost. But we have to get across the precipice. Now, there's got to be morphing object around here somewhere. If you do see the morphing objects, don't forget to shout those out. There the is the vault where my body lies. First, you need to get inside. Yeah, it is a very sad ghost story, isn't it? These old plates are cracked. I can try to break them with my axe. Really? Alright, never mind. I thought I had a solution there. Mace handle. Ah, now we know what we're going to do it. Wow, check out these crystal skulls. One crystal skull is missing. A sturdy cord, of course. Everybody needs a sturdy cord. Axe on the tree. Dragonheart, yes, I think you're right. That way we get across the precipice. But uh, we need to make sure we gather up the morphing objects, no? I got myself some fruit. Juicy, juicy mangoes! And this is the ritual temple. Before you enter, deactivate the trap. Sounds dangerous. Look at the hyena over here. We've got to deactivate the trap! Whoa! Hello, light! Aha, it's gotta be fixed, doesn't it? Oh, it looks like we get to use our box cutter finally. Yeah, look at us, cut, cut, cut. All we need now is Indiana Jones. Oh my gosh, there's a skeleton down here. Good grief. Two skeletons. Oh no, we need a Lindsay. We need Indiana Jones and an annoying sidekick. <laughs> hey, what about Lara Croft? Come on now. There is definitely a hyena over here. Look at this guy. How do I scare this creature away? With a juicy mango. No. No juicy mangoes for you. 
Well, we are a lady character, so I think we're more... Oh, you're saying we are Laura Croft, therefore we need Indiana Jones? Is that kind of how this is going to work? Ah, I think I know how we're going to scare away our hyena. I think I know what we're going to do. Go back to the fire. Nathan Drake? Yes, we need some more Nathan Drake. Light it up, up, up. <laughs> the hyena looks like he's made from cookies and cream. <gasps> oh, he's delicious, is he? <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Oh, wait, we've missed a bunch of collectibles here. Come on, team. We're supposed to be doing this together now. We've missed a morphing object in here. Morphing. Oh, there it is. Got it. So then we can go back out here. Oh, we've actually missed a collectible? Oh. Interesting. No, did we? Oh yeah, it looks like we did miss a collectible there. And we missed it here too. Okay, well, I don't know, like... I feel like here... Actually, I have no idea what it would be. Well, we gotta come back here anyway, so... Let's go back to the tombs. And we are missing a morphing object here. But I think we're gonna go hammer it up here first. Oh yeah. Light it up, up, up. We have got three out of four of those collectibles. The map is really nice. I agree, Wanda. I agree. Oh, I think we got to light that up. Ooh, morphing objects. Nine out of 30. Haha, light it up, up, up. Whoa! The sarcophagus with my body is up there. Lower it and then open it. Dude, why is your sarcophagus up in the sky? Wow. What are the collectibles? Lots and lots of different things, actually. Morphing objects and just random collectibles. So, what do we got over this way? Tomb of the High Wizards on the ritual tables. I need to pour some blood water over the heart and sprinkle the skull with some fire power. Fire powder. Only then will the spirit of the High Wizard return to his ancestors. So basically we need blood and a skull. Jeez. Blood, please. He's a high wizard, so that's why he's high up in the sky. Mm-hmm. So, let's see. You know, it's funny, because I've mentioned before I have, like, a sit-stand desk, and I have it in the stand position now when I live stream. And I find that I'm more active when I live stream versus just sitting in a chair. But I also find that after a couple hours, <laughs> I get a little sore. It's uh, interesting. But it's good, I like it. Much prefer this versus sitting on my butt for four or five hours. So I have the torch. Let's go scare away our cookies and cream hyena. There you go, buddy. We're gonna melt you down real good. Buy cookies and cream. Who's this guy? Oh, you know what? I bet, bet you he wants a juicy mango. A blue... Oh my gosh, it's a marmoset. What the heck is a marmoset? Whatever it is, I like it. Where did the uh, cookies and cream go? He's all gone now. Don't, don't leave. Press the symbols in the correct order you saw on the hint earlier. Ah. Is that in our diary? Yes, it is. Look at that. We're on page 15 already. Holy cow. Love this diary. Looks like a face, three-legged person, hand, and two snakes. Face, three legs, hand, two face. Face. Three-legged, 
pan and snakes. Wait. Oh, I did it. I was like, <laughs> I thought I missed it. Whoa, look at the rich red color. A lever, I like levers. A morphic object, 10 out of 30. And another random collectible, four to four. Can I... I think there's a way to see the collectibles. Let's have a peek here. Uh, collections. So if you folks want to have a look at what we are collecting over time. Two out of four golden dishes, so clearly we've missed one or two. We got the four to four vases, four to four masks, seashells, beetles, skulls. So that's what we're collecting, folks, is if you spot these, do shed them out. We have uh, 10 out of 30 morphing objects. 